Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today me and Amy are together, and we're going to minister over 10 people. If you'd like to receive also ministry in this format, you can write your name in the comments, and I'll add you to the list. Okay, so the first person I want to minister to today is Jason Bradford. Okay, so Jason, the Lord is showing to me how He's giving you a, a wisdom and a counseling anointing on your life and especially to minister to your family and people that are around you. And so I see the healing of God upon your hands. If a family member is sick, that you pray for them and how the Lord heals them. But I also felt that you're going to give counsel and the Lord is going to work through you. And then just like the shepherd, as the shepherd wrought and that staff, I felt that the Lord is giving you that staff and you are a shepherd, you're a shepherd for your family and you're a shepherd to many, many people that are around you and you are a father. And so the Lord is very proud of you and he's using you in a mighty way. God bless you, Jason. Amen. God bless you, Jason. God loves you. This next word is for Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Um, while praying for you, yeah, you are such a blessing. Uh, while praying for you, um, I, I saw a picture of... Um, you know when Jesus raised up that girl from the dead and she was sleeping but she um, she woke up, she rose up from the dead and I, I just saw the talit and I, I don't know what this means but this I just saw how God clothed you with the talit. Um, um, yeah, that, that was the picture. Um, Carrie and then I, I really want to encourage you, God is giving you really a lot of creativity um, to see deeper in the spirit. I, I just see how you spend time in the presence of God and how God reveals to you His love and it's like so vibrant and colorful and it's like you can not only feel it but you can see it and i just feel that's what god is is doing in your life god loves you carrie god bless you okay awesome carrie uh we all love and appreciate you you are amazing and uh, you've been such a blessing to me in my life not only now but for a long time so thank you very much carrie uh, so that the lead is usually a picture of god's covering of his presence and his provision that he gives to us because each one of that uh, tassels is a picture of God's name and the provision that is in that name of God. So when the Lord's putting His talent over you, He's, he's covering you and He's providing for you. All right. God bless you, Kerry. All right. So Christopher, the Lord chose me a big bus and uh, you are loading people up and you're offloading people. And all of those people that you load up on a bus, you make a very personal connection with them. They become part of your f uh, cell phone contacts and you uh, talk with them and you build a relationship with them and the Lord says son I'm expanding your network in your life and you're gonna help many many people but in the process you are also gonna get provided for and gonna get blessed and I felt that the Lord just like that bus where you pick people up and you help them to move forward you're gonna help people and as you help them they're gonna get again become part of that network that bring financial supply into your life and so the Lord wants to help you he wants to bless and promote you God bless you Christopher Amen God bless you Christopher this next one is for Elizabeth Elizabeth God loves you and uh, while praying for you I saw a picture of how God gave you this big heavy flag and you were holding this this pole this flag and it, it was blue and the word was hope and I saw how God said, wherever you go, you got to carry this flag. And it was like you were carrying this flag to your family's house, um, to the mall, in public, ministry. And you always had this flag called hope. And at first it was very, very heavy on you. But the more you carried it, your muscles got stronger. And you, a lot of people were led to Jesus through that. And they received a new hope. And I just feel the Lord says, your calling um, is to bring hope to people and to point them to me. And even though it's a bit heavy right now, I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you the strength. I'm giving you the peace and the joy to carry that and I just feel um, that's a very big part of your mandate for 2025 2026 where you are going to really be a beacon um, of, of hope and what the compassion and light of Jesus is like because you're going to reflect that um, and then lastly I really want to encourage you the sword is, is the word of God um, spend time with the word um, put it in your heart um, keep on going and I just feel there's a lot of new things God is going to reveal to you in this time um, the first book that comes to mind is Ephesians. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, awesome Elizabeth. Uh, of course, hope is a picture of what God has for us. So when we give someone hope, we help them to see what is God's purpose and plan for someone's life also. It's not only for the nation, but it's also for us individually. God yeah. has a plan for each one of us. Hey, God bless you, Elizabeth. 
Uh, so next word is for John McDonald. Uh, uh, John, uh, the Lord shows me a lot of people that are connected with their past and they are struggling to move forward. And then you add a sword and you're cutting off all these chains that's holding people back on your own life but also people around you. And I just felt that the Lord says you are going to move forward, you're going to leave the past behind. So even some of the things that you did in the past, you're going to stop doing it and you're going to start doing new things. But you're going to also help others to do the same, especially from a spiritual point of view, just to leave the old behind, a religious system, a system of no relationship with God and just good works yeah. and things like that and actually move into an on fire relationship with God. And I know John the Baptist, he had this ministry on his life where people came, they repented, he baptized them and then they walked into a new life. And I felt your name is also John and that the Lord is actually giving you a very similar a mantle and an anointing on your life to help people to move forward. God bless you, John. God bless you, John. That was awesome. This next word is for Ari. Ari, you're such a blessing. While praying for you, I saw a picture of um, how, you know, music is so powerful. And, you know, that's why um, Solomon, uh, so Saul got David to play the harp for it because he was just... Um, he was just he just needed it and he had so he felt the presence of God in peace when David worshipped and I, I saw a picture of how you're like this flower right and all of a sudden all the music that's playing around you is like this heavy rock music but okay it's not it's I'm not saying I'm not against heavy rock metal music but my point is it was just like death 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 and then it this flower was crumbling but then you listen to music that said life 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 Jesus and and all of a sudden the flower flourished so I just feel the Lord says that it, it's really important for you to and I feel like you've been doubting yourself and saying it's my fault that I'm not flourishing and I just feel the Lord says it's very very important to um, take a minute and look at your surroundings what is going on um, because that could be the reason why um, this flower is not flourishing right now and and I feel the Lord says even in the good days where in the past where you feel like okay the flower it, it, if I could describe the flower it looked like a cosmos flower it was beautiful a pink cosmos flower and but it was just like so simple and I just feel um, God shows you a picture of how um, vibrant and gorgeous this flower is it had diamonds it was it was so heavenly and I just feel the Lord says Ari the plans I have for your life is so heavenly so don't look be um, conformed with this world don't look at everything around you I just feel that the Lord says fix your eyes on me um, you're going to flourish like never before beyond your wildest dreams because that's my vision for you God loves you God bless you hey Ari uh, just like a big tree um, that grows in the summertime and sprout with its leaves and make fruit sometimes uh, and then in the winter season all the leaves fall down and the tree just look like it's just standing there it's not growing uh, in the same way I felt that the Lord says that you have seasons of growth and seasons of rest and both of those seasons are important you need the one so that you can have the other one and you need the other one so you can have this one again and so uh, uh, you try to measure yourself so you can run at the same pace the whole time and you don't allow yourself to have times where you are more productive or times where you just rest and i just felt that the lord says that he's going to help you even in this season to enjoy the rest that god has given to you and it might be a long time and then to enjoy again the times of being very productive and to enjoy that also so, and that's also going to cause you to enjoy the fruit uh, of your labor and of what God is providing for you and so sometimes you 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 get the the breakthrough but then you immediately run to the next thing and you didn't take a time to celebrate and to rest and to recuperate so that you can be ready for the next season the Lord is just helping you a little bit with that rhythm God bless you Ori so next word is for Stephen Stephen the Lord shows me the widow with the oil and with the flower in her house and then you went and spoke to the, or she went and spoke to the, the prophet Elijah. And uh, he declared that her oil and her uh, flower will not dry up until it rains. And so then what happened, uh, she just always had a supernatural supply. She never ran out of food. Uh, she was taken care of by the Lord. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm giving you supernatural supply. You will not run out. I will help you even in a season of drought you will have enough 
that you can provide for yourself and you can also provide for those around you over which God gave you responsibility. And so trust in God. I just see like uh, Abraham said to Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider. And I just felt that the Lord is just uh, reminding you today and He's giving you a promise that He will provide for you. You do not have to fear. You don't even have to fear about your old day. There will be provision for you. God bless you. God loves you. God bless you. This next one is for Marissa. Marissa, God loves you very much. And I just, um, I feel like there's something very hard sore that happened to you in your life. And you feel very broken. And, and, and yeah, it's just, it was a big, um, it was a big crash. And I just feel the Lord says, I am going to restore you, Marissa. I love you. And you are so precious to me. And I want to pour out my love and compassion over you and heal you and I see how you get in like this cocoon and how you become like this beautiful butterfly and I just see how God is just taking you into his arms and, and totally transforming you and renewing you and all the things that the enemy has stolen that you thought was lost that you thought um, that piece of me I can't get that back I just feel how God really um, brings it back and he gives you like a bigger crown and he says my daughter I'm decorating you in my glory and my love and then lastly I just feel God is giving you boldness and courage and wisdom God has called you to be a leader but also um, I just felt, felt like God has also called you to be like a nurse for people to really um, pray for people so they can get healing um, God is really giving you that that anointing so I really want to encourage you pray for people to get healed people are going to get healed through you that's just an amazing gift God has given you God loves you God bless you Hey Marissa, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Carolina. Carolina, the Lord shows me a donkey. And the donkey is carrying a lot of burdens. So he's carrying, and a, a, a donkeys can carry, they're very strong animals. Uh, and God has made them so they can carry goods. All right? mm -hmm. uh, and I felt that the Lord says that you will carry burdens because the Lord has given you a call to carry. But you don't have to carry all the burdens. And I saw two or three other donkeys next to you. You're carrying all the load and they're not carrying their load. And the Lord is giving you discernment to say, but this is my responsibility. This is not yeah. my responsibility. And now you cut in between it and you say, okay, these things, I'm adding it over. You guys are going to carry your own loads and I'm going to carry my responsibility and my load. And then suddenly, now you easily go over the hills and you're happy and you just sing praise songs because you're not carrying more than you need to carry. And what did Jesus say? Uh, and, and in, I think the second Peter, right? He said there, cast your, your, your cares and your burdens upon me because I care for you. He's actually like, cast your burdens on me and, I'll, and I will care for you. And I, and I felt what the Lord is saying to you. Some of those burdens is not your responsibility, but someone else doesn't want to take it. Now you say, well, what now? And I just felt to the Lord uh, that the Lord is saying, just give it to me. Trust in me. It's even some people that you feel what I need to know, stand in a gap and take responsibility for these people. Ask the Lord to give you clear discernment. These ones are mine. These ones is not my responsibility. Give them to God. And you'll see how the Lord will be so faithful to yes. provide for all of that so that everything gets carried. The Lord loves you very, very much. Carolina, yeah. you are valuable. Yes. And uh, you know, Jesus said, the one of you that are the servant will be called the greatest in the kingdom. And I just felt that the Lord is saying, you'll be called the greatest in the kingdom because you're willing to serve. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Carolina. God loves you. God bless you. This next word is for Nail. Nail, God loves you so much. And I saw a picture of snow. And I saw how you were making this, um, this, these snow sculptures. And you were having fun with Jesus. And I saw how you made your snowman. And Jesus made his. But his never melted. <laughs> and yours did. And you're like, why, Jesus? Um, but I just feel the Lord says that um, it's really important for you to laugh at yourself but it's also very important for you to do stuff with him and I see the more you spend time with Jesus then you guys did it again and then your snowman lasted a little bit more and Jesus snowman was still perfect and then you guys did it again and then your snowman was also didn't melt the same as Jesus so I just feel Jesus is just saying to you spend more time with me you're going to do 
things the way I do things. You are going to stand out. People's going to look at you and be like, wow, this is supernatural. This is from God. And I just feel the Lord says the things that you are going to do is going to be everlasting. Um, it's going to be stable. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you a bunch of, um, you know, the story about the, 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 the parable about the talents where the guy had ten talent, five talents and he made it ten. The other one had two and he made it four. And I just feel the Lord says multiplication. I'm going to bring into your life. You won't only um, be amazing with ministry, but also business. And not only business and ministry, but also I'm giving you a gift to be a person, amazing family um, person. God loves you. And I just feel the Lord says the secret is to spend more time with me. And God is drawing you closer to his presence. God loves you. God bless you. Yeah, you know, the Lord will redeem time. Yeah. We felt you lost time. The Lord will redeem it. Uh, God bless you. Family, it's a big pleasure. We love each one of, yes. of you. You guys are amazing. Um, We're going to be back again. God bless you. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.